morning, Coven, and welcome to the mat. So for those who are brand new here, welcome. My name is Bethany, and I am the Yogi Witch. And today, I'm going to guide you through a quick and simple, but ever so soulful, 15-minute morning yoga ritual. So this is the ideal flow to add into any morning routine, no matter what time you might wake up, just to make the body feel good, to align those chakras, to awaken our soul, and just kind of start off our day on a positive foot. So it's always gonna be, it's 15 minutes long, really gorgeous stretches, no props needed, but as always, you can grab anything that you'd like. But we're gonna begin straight away by coming towards the back of the mat in our child's pose. So bringing the big toes to touch. We're gonna to take those knees as wide as feels comfortable. Remember, this is a morning practice, so those hips might be feeling a little bit tight. And we're gonna walk those hands forward. All together, we're gonna to take a deep inhale through the nose. And on your exhale, press the hips to the heels, walk the hands out, and relax the head down. So straight away, we're gonna activate our child's pose by pressing into the hands to lift the elbows off the mat and start to walk them out even further. So you're immediately feeling that gorgeous stretch in the back of the shoulders here, beginning to open up the heart chakra. And just beginning this practice today with a few moments of really kind of intentional breathing. So feeling your inhales, and your exhales. And as we're trying to energize ourselves, wake ourselves up, we're gonna to start to make our inhales just that little bit longer than our exhales. So imagine that we're inhaling for five and exhaling for four. Beautiful, before all together we inhale. And we exhale to walk those hands as far over to the left hand side of your mat as you can go. And from here, the right hands are gonna stay exactly where it is. And you're gonna start to slide that left arm towards the back of the mat. So opening those arms wide, keep the head low. Inhale to bring left hand next to right, walk it over to the right hand side and take that strange little stretch once more. Left hand stays where it is, reach the right hand towards the back of your mat. Beautiful, before right hand meets left, walk it into the center and then from here, we're gonna place those hands into the earth and roll that body all the way up. Straight away from here, we drop the hips and come to meet an upward facing dog. So we're not dropping all our weight into the ears, we roll the shoulders back and start to find length. Inhale. Exhale, press into the hands, tuck toes under for a gorgeous foot stretch and squeeze the hips back to the heels. Inhale, roll the body forward, drop those hips to upward dog. And then exhale to send it back. Taking this a few more times now at your own pace, really aiming now to create almost like a wave in the spine as you inhale to roll forward. And then exhale to send it back two more times. Beautiful, take it one more time, no rush. Yes, before we come to meet an upward facing dog, press into the hands, take a little bit of a neck stretch. We're gonna glance back to the left foot. Beautiful, move through center, glance back at the right. 
Beautiful. And then bend the knees, wiggling your way into a comfortable or force position. From here, we open up the shoulder by sliding left hand forward. And we're going to thread the right arm underneath, coming into a twisted puppy pose. So those hips are going to stay stacked directly on top of those knees. And we're going to pull this left arm all the way up to the sky. Beautiful, inhale and exhale, bring that left hand to the mat, roll through tabletop and then straight away take it to the other side, thread left arm under the right and pull that right arm to the sky. Yes, right hand comes down, roll that body back into a tabletop position and this time we're going to bring the knees to touch. From here we're going to step that left foot outside of the left hand and wiggle that right leg back a little bit. So you're coming in to a bit of a lizard pose here. Now you can take a couple of wiggles here with the back knee down or you can start to wake up the upper body by tucking the back toes under and take some movements forwards and backwards. Any kind of wiggles. Opening up those hips. Keep taking it for five, for four, three, two, and one. Gently relax that back knee down if it's up. And we're gonna bring left knee to touch right and then step right foot outside of right hand. Again, option to keep that left knee down or option to lift it up and take your movement here. We're just looking at opening up the hips. Really connecting with that chakral chakra, <laughs> sacral chakra <laughs> and root chakra to bring in a little bit of passion, a little bit of grounding into our day. For five, four, yes, three, two, and one, lower left knee down, step right leg back to the left, and then from here, we're gonna meet in a downward facing dog. Taking the dog for a little walk here, begin to pedal out those legs, Kevin. Bending one knee, bending another, nod the head, yes. Shake it now. Any kind of wiggles here that feels good to you anything your body is craving. Remembering, this is a morning practice. You're gonna feel a little more stiff than you would do if you were in an evening practice. And then from here, we're gonna to gaze towards the top of the mat, taking beautiful, slow little steps. We're gonna to tiptoe the way, all the way between the thumbs, bend the knee, take hold of the elbows, and ragdoll your body here. So no tension going on in the neck. If you feel like you're holding it, give it a shake and find your sway from side to side. On your inhale, come and fingertips the mat or hands to the shins to gaze forward and create length. Exhale, bend the knees, roll that body all the way up to standing. Sweep those arms up and overhead, inhale. Exhale, relax the arms down by your side, begin to bend the knees and forward fold once more. Inhale, roll the body up. Sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, relax the arms down by your side like little weights going on in the fingertips. You roll that body forwards. Taking it one more time here, we inhale to roll the body up. Sweep those arms up and overhead. And then this time we relax the arms down by our side and let's stretch out the neck. So roll shoulders away from the ears. Left hand's gonna take hold of the crook of the right elbow. We inhale, exhale, drop right ear down to the right shoulder. Come back 
Coming at an angle, we're going to draw that right ear down to the collarbone. Beautiful, bring it back to the shoulder, into the centre and we simply switch sides here. Right hand takes hold of the crook of the left elbow, inhale to find your length, exhale drop left ear down to the left shoulder. Draw that ear down to the collarbone. Bring it back to the shoulder, into the centre. From here we inhale, reach those arms all the way up and overhead. Find your mini back bend by pulling the hips forward and sending those hands back. Inhale. Exhale, move into the centre, left hand, right wrist. We reach it nice and high to the sky. And then lean to the left hand side, step right foot behind the left. Inhale, move through centre, switch your side, right hand, left wrist. Lean over to the right hand side, step left foot behind the right. Beautiful, move it back into the centre from here. You're going to take a little bit of freedom of movement here. So shaking out the hands, nod the head yes, shake it no. Wiggle those hips, swing from side to side here. So kind of starting to raise our vibrations ready for a day ahead. Starting to shield our energy here. Ready for whatever's coming towards us. Knowing that we hold the power to release, we hold the power to welcome in. So the movement doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to feel good to you. Beautiful. Before we bring that body back gently in to the centre. Roll shoulders away from the ears. And we're going to come into Tamdasana, so a little bit of a mountain pose here. Rooting through those legs, flip the hands all the way forward so we start to draw in some healing energy. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. And a slow exhale all the way out. Harnessing the energy from this little flow, from this magic in motion, you're going to take the opportunity now to set yourself an intention or an affirmation for the day ahead. Now this can be anything that you like, anything that resonates with you, anything that you feel your soul is trying to tell you. But setting it here in the mind and then sealing it with your breath. Remembering there's no right or wrong answers. Before we gently close the practice by bringing the hands to prayer at heart centre and bowing head to heart with gratitude, with love, as always to the strength of our minds for bringing us to the practice this morning, to those who join us as an online coven for their energy and support and as always from me to you, thanking you for allowing me to guide you through this 15 minute morning yoga ritual. I hope you feel awakened, I hope you feel energised and I hope you feel so damn magical and powerful to take on whatever it is that's coming in your day. Thanking you so much for joining me here today, Kevin. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate any kind of support for my little channel by maybe liking, commenting, subscribing, you know the drill. And I also have a sister video to this flow, a 15 minute evening yoga ritual, which is the perfect way to end your day, the most perfect way to kind of set yourself up for a really good deep sleep. So you can check that out over on my channel. But thank you so much, Kevin, and I hope to see you again soon. Blessed be.